How's it going guys? I usually wear a hat so this might look a little funny to people. Got a new haircut, gotta show it off a little bit. But uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, as you can tell I'm already starting off the video different in my house pretty much. First thing I want to cover is Lake Mead. So one of the big things that's been happening at Lake Mead is they recently identified one of the bodies that was found. So there's been five bodies found at Mead. Two of them are kind of, they got rumors on who they think it was. You know, people are coming out saying it was whether their brother or their dad, but they're not 100% identified yet. The recent one actually got 100% identification. They know it was a guy that drowned. His family got closure, so we're extremely happy about that. I love to hear when people get closure. You know, obviously it's an unfortunate event of what happened to him in particular, but they did get closure, so at least they do know what happened. So what do you think about that new body that they actually identified? Yeah, it's great that they found closure on that guy. There's two more. Uh, one of them, also the family got closure. It was tied to the mob. It was the guy with the bullet hole behind the head. He was placed into a barrel and thrown into Lake Mead. His family also got closure. He, he got positively identified and uh, we're good to go on that one. So there was three more that haven't been identified. One more is in the process of getting identified. They know he's in the right age group, but they haven't um, positively identified it 100%. They're still working on it. I think they're gonna try DNA. So potentially three identified, there's two more. Nobody has any idea who those people are. So hopefully, you know, they, they find those also. But yeah, things are looking good for the lake. So this video is gonna be a little bit different. It's filmed in like different time frames, I guess you can say. One of the reasons is because we've been super busy here lately. I've had a lot of family come in town. So I had my grandpa and my uncle come into town. We showed them around town, went fishing and everything. And a lot of people actually walked up and said hi, whether it was in a casino, a restaurant, a store. Really do appreciate that. And Sorry to interrupt you, but it's funny because a lot of people in our family don't watch YouTube and all that. So when they come to visit, some of the fans are like, coming up hey how you guys doing so they are just kind of what's going on they they really don't understand it like are you guys famous now or what and so it's kind of cool appreciate you guys very much so you guys are awesome every single one of you that shows support whether it's through hat sales just by watching the video alone you're uh, supporting us massively this has been a dream of both of ours for many years now we've been pushing YouTube for I think eight years now so Every single one of you guys, every single second that you watch our videos, we're massively appreciative for it. Really want to thank you guys really quick for that. And I uh, hope you enjoy this video. All right, we're out here on the river right now. Came out with the whole fam. Brought my uncle. What's up? How you doing? Grandpa. Hello. How you doing? My dad, so. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to see if we can catch... A nice striper today. These guys, it's their first time coming out in the river with us. I brought my grandpa before, but my Uncle Manuel right here, this is your first time out in the river, right? Yes. We got some homemade lures we're gonna troll. Big fish out here as always. They're still stocking trout pretty consistently. Nice cool weather. It's nice to beat the sun out. Uh, when that sun starts coming up, it just gets so hot that it's not fun anymore at that point. So you get out when it's dark still, get off when it's still pretty cool, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. So. We got four different poles trolling. See if we can catch a fish. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> it's gonna be a big one, in. huh? Bring him I'm in. Filming. Bring him in. The biggest one oh, I've ever get out. Get out of there. That's for sure. How's he feel? He feels like a monster. This will be your biggest fish, huh? Yeah, the biggest one I've ever caught. He's a long ways out there too. Yeah. Don't let any pressure come off because yeah, those. Yeah. If anything, don't let the line hit the, the boat. He's going. Snap. He's going that way. It's, it's okay. You're gonna have to oh, turn. Oh, he's cutting the way. Is it 200 feet deep or what? No. Oh, he's, he's working towards this motor. He's working towards the motor. Cut left. Just cut left. <laughs> don't let any pressure. This is a monster. <laughs> Too much. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to do it. Too much oh, my pressure. Goodness. <laughs> People, oh, people. look at that. People, yeah. people. I watch the show River Monsters and I always see him doing this. You're like, no way you <laughs> reach muscle <laughs> failure. <laughs> oh. Did it come off? Oh, there he is right there. I can see him. Oh, oh there my he. goodness. Oh, he's huge. Right, right, right. He's oh, tired. he's a monster, Bring man. He's a monster. Bring him right here. Lift him, lift him, lift him. Oh! oh. Goodness. Oh. 
kidding how he got hooked too. And no one's saying that damn thing again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that gosh. homemade thing. God, he's gonna shake and hook you. Where's the pliers? Jeez, that's a nice fish right there. Oh, this thing's bigger than my pigs. Is he good? He's got a feel in there. We're gonna take a picture of you holding him with that lure in his mouth too, because that's our buddy's homemade one. So you can hold him just like a bass. Dang, he's biting on me. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> God dang. This guy. It's a good fish. It's huge. How much do you think it weighs? We, we got a scale. Him. We'll weigh him. Right. Awesome. Here, grab the camera real quick. Nineteen pounds. Oh yeah. Eighteen seven. Eighteen seven. Ready? Right, go ahead. Yeah. We might have to try to revive them a little bit. Oh yeah, you gotta revive them. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. You gotta hold them flat. Want me to go forward? Oh yeah. That was a monster though right there. Oh, That's an 18 yeah. pounder. Let's see if it's ready. Okay, just push it up to the side. Oh no, she's good. She's just tired. Dang, was that the biggest fish you ever <laughs> caught or what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 it was crazy. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this lure we caught him on. Our buddy makes these. This was a gift. A gift he handmade this thing. And I was telling him last night that this thing's what we're going to catch him on. And sure enough. Tony Santoro. Custom wow. made. Beautiful. Handmade. So when Adrian <laughs> hooked that up for you this morning, you're thinking what? That we're more likely to catch it on the other lures. This thing won't <laughs> catch anything. But first fish of the day, that was awesome. Did you think that lure would work? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't point the camera at me. <laughs> oh man, that was great. I'm done. We could go home now. <laughs> Before the sun my comes dream. up. <laughs> well, we caught that one nice fish a little bit earlier today. It was the biggest fish I ever caught in my life. So some people go their whole life and never catch a fish that big. So I appreciate Sin City Outdoors for allowing me to catch that monster fish. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think about it, Grandpa? That was great. Yeah. I've never seen nothing like it. I haven't seen anything like it, except for the last time we went. <laughs> <laughs> A fish like that at the market would probably run five, six hundred bucks. What were they charging at Costco per pound for striper? Twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine for farm raised ones too. Yeah, these ones will go a little bit more. $29.99. Since they're organic. <laughs> right there. Give it one big jerk. One big jerk. Sometimes they like an aggressive action. Did you get it? Uh -uh. No, but he came toward it. You got one. Okay. Why is your line moving? Recast it. Oh yeah, I got oh yeah, you got one. Oh yeah, you got one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, said, well, I was wondering why his line was moving sideways. I was like, you didn't catch that one. Yeah. There it is. That's gonna be a fryer. Was that a good fire or what? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for uh, like like the one man you caught. Not compared to that <laughs> striper. Oh yeah. Nice fish right here, huh? Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. So we're off the water. We're driving through Boulder City, which is right by Lake Mead. Last time we came out, we had Juju with us. We had some footage of some rams that were hanging out at the Boulder City Park. They like to hang out over there. So I'll throw that footage in here so you guys can check that out. It's pretty interesting. We've been getting a few comments here and there of people asking about the bighorn sheep because that is the Nevada State animal. And to us, they're normal to see, but I got to remember that a lot of people, a lot of you guys are from around the world that are watching people from Australia, New Zealand, the UK. Shout out Canada. Shout out Canada. I mentioned Australia and a couple other places last time and uh, people were like, what about Canada? 
Yeah, so shout out shout to out the Canada. to the whole world that's watching. But a lot of people, I gotta realize that desert bighorn sheep are a desert thing. So a lot of the world doesn't get to see them. And what's cool about here around Lake Mead, here in Boulder City, there's a park right here where the sheep always are there and they're eating the grass and they let you get close and take pictures. Completely wild. They're highly protected, but they still always come to this park because it's nice, it's cool, they always got water and they got good food. So there was a bunch along the highway right here, but we're gonna go ahead and park and walk down this park and show you kind of something cool you could see if you're coming to this lake. What we mean about highly protected is if you get caught poaching one of these things, you're going to prison. A little excited, might go rock climb a little bit. Yeah. You have some courts here if you want to play. Tennis courts, anything, and we're about to see some cool sheep. What are they, sheep or rams? Uh, bighorn sheep. Bighorn sheep? The Nelson bighorn sheep. Nelson bighorn sheep. They're pretty cool. I remember when we first came here and I saw them, I thought it was pretty cool. First time I ever seen them in person. This is the park Juju was talking about. He's going to end up rock climbing. Hey, you know how you took that 100 from me? You lost it, but uh, well. we're going to have to do a part two. Who could climb faster? <laughs> Adrian said he'd give me five bucks if I could slap one in the boat without getting rammed. <laughs> <laughs> There's some good rams right here. Yeah, we could walk up to them. This is why they're here, because they got shade and they got nice green grass. All this stuff gets watered every day. It stays nice and cold. So those of you who don't know who, what big horns are, the ones with the big horns are called rams. So these are rams right here. That's a pretty good ram right there. And then those are the females over there. They're called ewes. E-W-E. She's scratching her back with that horn. So those are the females. They don't grow as big of a horn. Oh yeah, they're coming out of the desert right now. And what's crazy about this is they're always here at this park. Because there's always food and water. You can see Lake Mead in the background. There's beautiful Lake Mead. And there's the sheep. And then here's Boulder City. So right that way, this is like a neighborhood area. All down there is Boulder City, it goes to that canyon. But I think Juju's starting to spaz out a little bit. He can't wait to go play at the park. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just found it so fascinating that it's just literally right here, houses and stuff, and they let you get that close. It's pretty wild. Yeah, you honestly could probably pet one, but yeah. I would I would not yeah, recommend it. I was thinking the same thing. Nah, you might get rammed. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's probably the closest you'll get to one besides a zoo, and that's behind, you know, cages and glass, or if they have them in a zoo, I don't know, but it's pretty cool. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You guys saw a whole variety of different things from fishing, uh, Lake Mead stuff, and also some bighorn sheep. That was pretty neat, wasn't it? So, uh, really quick, I want to talk about our next video that's coming up very shortly. We're headed down to Yuma, Arizona with a good friend, Rashawn Gordon. We're going dove hunting for the dove opener. Now, if you don't know about hunting at all, I really hope you guys watch that video. We're going to try our best to show you exactly why we hunt, uh, the benefits, and just a lot of the reasons behind it. Because a lot of people are quick to judge somebody that hunts. So if you're not a hunter, I really invite you to open up your mind and pick apart that next video we post. This right here I wanted to show really quick because to a lot of my longtime followers that followed throughout all the hunting and fishing content, would really appreciate this. This is a new shotgun that I just picked up. I've been needing one for a while. You guys are definitely gonna see this one in the next video. I'm gonna explain it a little bit more in depth along with everything. Now I wanna remind you guys that hunting is a very, very social event. This is the number one partook hunting season in the United States is the dove season opener. So uh, September 1st is dove season opener. We're gonna go down with a lot of family and friends and have a good time. So we're gonna show you everything from point A to Z from hunting to cooking and everything in between. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that video when it comes out and maybe this is something you wanna partake in in the future. But other than that, I really do thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all of the ongoing support recently. It's been absolutely crazy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors.